watching Emily's cat this weekend. I gotta go down there and feed Emily's cat in a few minutes as soon as I get done with this video. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, Bob. Well, hey, y'all are. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Shop Range with my ought to be in the blooper file. Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is this guy. The Smith & Wesson 469. Now, we'll just turn it in when you get up there. Just hang it up there and I'll, I'll go out and lock it behind me. Hey, I got this old used gun. <laughs> The 469. Well, the 469 was a gun that there was a company down in Atlanta. They were taking 59 Smith and Wessons and 39 Smith and Wessons and bobbing the grip frame and bobbing the barrel and slide and creating a midsize or semi-compact uh, Smith and Wesson automatic. In the mid late 1970s, early 1980s, Smith & Wesson came out with the 469, 439, you know, which were compacted versions of their uh, full-size guns. Uh, most law enforcement agencies in America at the time were making the transition to automatic pistol, and the most common automatic pistol at the time was the 5906 and 5904 Smith & Wesson automatic, which is what this is based on. So, with having all of that said, this gun's about 30 or 35 years old. Let's say it was made in 1985, you know, 95, 2005, 2015, so it would be, you know, 34 years old. We're going to give this gun a quick try. Uh, it has ambidextrous hammer drop safety, okay? It has a serrated finger rest out here on the end of the barrel, which is also like a barricade stop if you're shooting around a corner. Okay, works for that. Uh, slide stop is not ambidextrous. It's kind of flat and its grip panels are real flat. It has good serration, almost, almost looks like the surface of a thread straightener file, you know, thread repair file on the back strap. Uh, beaver tail is rather small. Of course, it doesn't have a doesn't have a uh, spur on the hammer, so it doesn't need a very big beaver tail. Uh, magazine is in the release is in the normal place, and it's basically basically a 5906. It's been cut down. Uh, 12 round magazine, proprietary magazine. We're going to try it here at uh, 10 yards and see how it works out for us. See what the accuracy is on it. I remember these things didn't shoot that well to begin with, but we're going to give it a try. All right, here we go and see. Things all over the place like a mad woman's underclothes. At least I'm shooting it straight. <clears throat> Must be having a good day today. All right, that is it. Show clear and safe. Let's get in here and look at our accuracy before it starts raining again. yards, 30 feet, that ain't bad. Oh, okay. The girl still runs. One, two, three, looks like one, two, looks like three right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dang, I actually shot that in pretty good. Huh. Well, all right then, I'll have to accept that. That's fairly acceptable marksman. Fairly acceptable marksmanship, at least for me. 
Oh, get that target stand over out of the way. It's fixing to rain. I'm fixing to leave. Well, that's not bad. I'm impressed. I didn't run it all over. Didn't shoot up the left-hand side of the range. That was <laughs> pretty impressive. I'm gonna... Okay, let's see if we can hit a little bit of steel with it. I'll put six in it right quick, and we'll try it out before it starts raining hard. It's a raining, but it's... Uh, I can shoot in the rain to a certain extent. I mean, you know, when it's a hard downpour, I won't shoot. But if it's drizzling, I'll keep right on shooting. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I got it that bad. i <laughs> just tell you the truth. I got it that bad. All right, that looks like about six. Let's see how we do on the old steel silhouette down there. May not be able to hit it at all. Here we go. Uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a 30 yard gun. It ain't a 50 yard gun. Whew. It sure ain't a 25 yard gun. Well, that's about the size of it for eight. I got this old used gun, uh, uh, 469 Smith & Wesson. Yeah. Value of this gun somewhere around $400, $425. It is a Smith & Wesson automatic. It is an old school Smith & Wesson automatic. They have some collector value. Uh, guys collecting Smith & Wesson automatics now. I never dreamed of it when I was young that it would be around to where they collected this kind of a gun as a collector's piece, but it's getting to be that way. Um, so this comes to us, compliments of Apache Armaments in Somerset, Kentucky, uh, down on University Drive down there by the Dinner Bell Restaurant. Uh, pretty nice old piece, works pretty good, runs pretty good, shoots okay. Uh, overall, pretty cool gun. All right then, that's about the size of it. We'll see y'all when we see you. Just got 1,300 subscribers. Never thought I'd have 300, just to tell you the truth. <coughs> but uh, I'll go out there and find something else and make you some gun content. All right, then. We'll see y'all.